Hello everyone, my name is Richard Evans and today I've got something really special for you. We're going to show you a 2008 Sea Ray Sundancer 40. Now you're going to go, okay, what's special about a Sea Ray Sundancer 40? There's a hundred of them out there. Well, I'm telling you, you are going to be blown away. This boat is so fully restored, I defy anyone, anyone to tell me that this boat doesn't look like it came right out of the factory. But hey, no more ado. Come on with me. I'll show you. Proof is in the scene. So boarding this beautiful boat is a, is a breeze. Look at the size of that swim grid. It's uh, so easy just to step aboard and you've got lots and lots of space to walk around here. There's a lot of things I like about this boat, but one of the things that I really like is the overall condition. Anything that did not look new was made to look new and that was his goal. And boy, has he ever done a good job. The other thing that's really nice about this is the safety staples that uh, he's put on his uh, swim grid. Uh, really important to have, um, you know, well, for safety. The uh, engine uh, and the uh, dinghy come with a boat. And this was pretty clever. He's uh, built in a customized stern line so uh, when you're tying to the shore and dropping your anchor out off the bow um, this is a great way to manage the uh, uh, that that tie or shore tie in here everything everything is so wonderfully organized just have a look at that it's very deep um, your shore power cables are in there um, and look how he's lined up each of his uh, additional lines. Uh, so easy to get to, especially in an emergency. Um, just wonderfully done, like everything else on this boat. Now there's a couple of other features here uh, that I want to point out. First of all, on each side of the boat, uh, you've got a little step here to step up on so that uh, you can gain access to the bow. And then when you're underway, you just put them away. Once we get inside, you're going to see that this beautiful new teak just runs all the way through the, uh, the whole cockpit area. And uh, no Mickey Mouse stuff here. This is done professionally. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So let's step into the cockpit here and uh, see what's going on in there. So here in the cockpit, just uh, imagine yourself here with your friends and family. Uh, it's, it's beautiful. Didn't I tell you? I mean, look at this upholstery. This is a 2008 boat, folks. Um, you tell me this doesn't look brand new. This is such a beautiful boat in such incredibly good condition. Uh, the table really caught my attention. Um, turns out that he actually manufactured this table himself. And it's so West Coast, isn't it? I mean, it's just beautiful the way uh, that uh, he's, he, he's brought the West Coast right into his boat here. I, I just love it. And again, pointing out this new teak, it feels good under your feet. And it looks like teak, brand new teak. Here we have a step. This step is there to help you get out uh, onto the side deck. <laughs> And something else I want to point out uh, here too is that uh, the cockpit has its own sink. So if uh, you just need to wash up or uh, if you've got uh, some glasses that uh, uh, you want to rinse out before you uh, take them home, this would be the place to do it. Loads of storage. We've got storage down below here and more storage in here as well. Just beautiful. Now I've got to point out this, uh, this canvas again <laughs> it was all replaced and looks brand new. Uh, and it's the, uh, you don't see it because we've taken it off because it's, believe it or not, a hot summer day, finally. Yay. You know? <laughs> but there is a, a piece that goes into the back and closes off this entire space. And are you ready for this? This boat not only is air conditioned with reverse air for heat, but it also has a diesel fired furnace that heats the whole boat as well. You can go out any time of the year, fall, winter, snowing, if you want, and you'll be toasty warm with all of those amenities. 
brilliant access to the engine space. Uh, as you see, this in a uh, couple of hydraulic rams that lifts this whole unit up so you can get down there, do your engine checks comfortably, do your oil changes, check your belts. It's a wonderful way to maintain and take care of, uh, of your mechanics. And hey, you know, if you can't get to your engine, you're not going to service it, are you? So this is one of, the, one of the great features about this boat. And what really blew me away is the color of the hull. You probably saw it from the, you know, from the pictures outside. This is um, totally redone, and he did it in all grip. And I love the color. It's very unique and very special. You could be proud of owning a boat like this. Now, let's go up to the helm station here. So here at the helm station, this feels really comfortable. You've got plenty of visibility, completely adjustable seat, so that you can adjust it to your own comfort. You've got everything here that you need. Um, let's start here on the left-hand side. You've got your uh, BHF radio, your bow thruster, your um, autopilot, and two touch screens, brand new by the way. Uh, Next to that, you've got your analog gauges for your engines, uh, so you can keep a, an eye on what's going on down there. Totally adjustable steering wheel. And I like this. Um, this is uh, your GPS chart plotter, uh, a backup GPS chart plotter right in here. Uh, always good to have. On the right-hand side, uh, we've got your um, ZF controls, your trim tabs, uh, controls for your uh, searchlight and just above that you've got your vessel view uh, which is the um, digital view of what's going on with your engines. There's a new Raymarine Cyclone 4 foot array solid state radar. That's real bonus. Everything is here. I also like the uh, vent that uh, opens up uh, electrically uh, which brings a lot of fresh air in here and if that's not enough well you've got a hatch just above here as well to get a nice cross breeze. Finally in this space uh, you've got security camera so that you have visibility into uh, what's going on on your boat no matter where you are. This is kind of handy it's a glove box a place to keep your sunglasses and your keys and uh, and other things that you may want to have uh, close by. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? What a joy to operate this vessel. It was so much fun. Very, very responsive. Uh, windy conditions, she just, she just breezed through the water. I felt very comfortable and excited about being in command of this vessel. And uh, oh boy, you're going to have a great time when you come down and have a look at it and just imagine this being yours. Two 380 Cummins powering this vessel um, in very, very good condition, by the way, and uh, less than 800 hours in each one of them. Uh, sitting in this uh, command seat gives you absolute total confidence in this vessel. You have all of the controls that you need. And if that's not enough, you've got your back up here to your tablet. Uh, just excellent. Not only the power to get you where you want to go in any kind of condition, but uh, also the uh, convenience of uh, having your touch screens and uh, the latest in electronics. You know, Sea Ray is recognized for building quality boats, but have a look at this. Uh, look at this tubing um, supporting this uh, rigid hardtop over the uh, over the cockpit and the helm station here. It's beautiful, well built. Um, you're going to get years and years of enjoyment out of this boat. Well, have a look at this, will you? Look at the space in here. And it's beautifully laid out. It looks like it's brand new, just like uh, I've talked to you about before. This boat is fully restored, and um, I defy anyone to tell me that this boat doesn't look like it just came right out of the factory. But 
Uh, let's start here in the galley, and I just want to go through some of the features here in the galley. We've got loads of storage, and we've got uh, these uh, this hardware uh, that locks the doors closed, close them up, and this is cool. Look at this. This is a cell phone charging station. Every boat should have one of those. And down below we have uh, more storage here. And this beautiful, beautiful Corian worktop here. Very easy to keep clean and it really accents the rest of the boat. Uh, really accents the rest of the space as well. So we have a, a deep sink here for cleaning up your dishes and preparing your meal. And right next to that, we've got a trash can right here. Perfect location for it because you can just scoop your uh, breadcrumbs and what have you uh, straight into that space there. Now down below, um, again, lots of storage. Here, cutlery drawer. And, and notice how smooth these glides are. Again, like I said, this, this vendor has taken this boat stripped it right back and completely restored it so everything in here works like it's brand new uh, down in here uh, we've got your trash trash bucket here and uh, your uh, sink cleaning materials and and what have you also your uh, fire extinguisher is kept there a good place for it right next to the stove next over here well we've got a freezer good size good size freezer and above we've got your hot plate two burner electric hot plate now the boat does come with a generator as well um, so uh, you won't have to worry about running out of power to uh, to operate this just next to that is a good size fridge and above your microwave and appliance cupboard right here look at this so in there, loads of space. We've got uh, your coffee maker and, uh, and your toaster and uh, lots of shelf space to put uh, your hot chocolate and coffee and tea and other things that you would want to prepare for your breakfast. So before we uh, check out the uh, starboard side here, I want to show you all of the storage down below here. Um, that goes quite deep and uh, it's just an ideal place to uh, to store your beverages um, and uh, canned products as well especially things that you want to keep cold because it's it's right there it's right at your keel and it has a central vacuum system with a long hose now look at the beautiful woodwork around here yeah i know you think i go on too much about the woodwork but i really do love it and um, everything in here matches. Look at the table and how it matches with the frame and, and the rest of the interior woodwork in this boat. It's just absolutely beautiful. Wonderfully finished. Um, again, I defy anyone to say that this boat is not looking like it came straight out of the factory. Right here, um, we have a storage cabinet. Uh, he's got his binoculars and some books and um, and a first aid kit in there right now. Uh, handheld VHF uh, sitting in a charger, all ready to go. Down right here. Look, look at this. Look at the settee. This this boat is a 2008. The settee looks like it's brand new. You got to come and see for yourself because you're not going to believe that this is a 2008. But anyway, let, I'm I'm digressing here. I'm just really impressed with this. Um, this boat has uh, air conditioning and reverse air, um, two units, one forward and one in the main. Uh, but it also has an S-bar um, diesel furnace here as well. So year-round boating is all, is it, the boat's ready for you. Uh, whether you go fall, winter or just in the summer, um, you're going to be very comfortable wherever you go, whenever you go. And just look at this table, absolutely gorgeous, beautifully done. So, more storage here. And of course, right next to it, and more storage here. Also, your uh, CD player and uh, stereo is in here as well. Notice uh, the uh, air conditioning vents uh, throughout the boat. 
Now, uh, before we leave this space, um, this table slides right out, and uh, this pulls out to become a double bed. Uh, these back cushions come off, and uh, you've got room for two people to sleep here. As well as, down below, in this space here, um, this slides out. As you can see, you, uh, you've got your racks here. Uh, this slides out, and this becomes a double bed as well. So you got room for um, three couples uh, on this boat uh, to go away and have the time of your life. In this space, there's also a TV and storage, uh, another CD player down here, and of course, air conditioning vents um, or heating vents as well. More storage in here, and this is your electrical panel here with uh, your ignition keys uh, and your AC and DC panels. Pretty nice, eh? So, located uh, right here uh, in the salon is um, access to your uh, to your head and it's, um, it's beautiful. It's very compact, has everything that you need. You've got uh, towel storage above here and a medicine cabinet uh, above the sink. And that medicine go cabinet goes well back, uh, so you can put lots of stuff in there. And this accent, this Corian rim around the sink, that's really a nice touch. And a grab rail here, more storage down below here, and a vacuum flush toilet. Very beautiful, well done, looks brand new like everything else in this boat, um, and uh, has everything that you need uh, when you go out boating. Now, in here, in the uh, cabin, you also have a private entrance uh, into your head. And your master cabin is, is um, blocked off with this sliding door here. So you have all the privacy from the rest of uh, the boat, which is a very nice feature. And again, um, beautifully finished. He's just done an excellent job at restoring this vessel. Right here um, is a separate shower. Woo! A separate shower with a seat, and look at the size of it. Um, I'm 6'1". Um, I'm standing in here with my hat on, and I've got a good two inches above me here. So this is really awesome. Really well done, and it's got a seat, and it also has an opening port light uh, for ventilation as well. Very nice. Very very nicely appointed. Nice to have your shower separated from the head so there's no scrambling in the morning. Uh, you don't have any lineups, uh, people waiting to use the head when they want to take a shower. That's a, that's a really nice feature, I like that. And again, this beautiful woodwork, same woodwork throughout the boat, looks brand new, absolutely beautifully restored. Here is your shoe locker, have a lot of shoes, this would be a great spot. Uh, you've got room for, oh, probably about six or eight different pairs in there. Or you could use it for just shelving for uh, odds and ends that you want to store away. TV here in the master cabin. Uh, notice your air conditioning vents. Now, there are three air conditioners on this boat. Um, uh, one for the central part of the boat, one for this space, and then one for... Uh, the helm area as well. And three separate compressors. They don't all run on one compressor. This is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Notice along the bed that uh, you've got uh, lockers that you can store books or socks or whatever that you want to store in there. And this bed is huge. It's, it's I'm going to say it's a queen size bed, uh, a full queen size bed. Now it is customized for the space. So it's kind of like a, a bit of a round shape to it, but it is, uh, well, you'll see actually uh, in the photos. Very comfortable. I actually sat on it and found it to be an incredibly comfortable bed. You, you'll be getting a good night's sleep using this. Over here on the other side is um, hang-up locker. And notice all the lockers are, are lit. Isn't that nice? This is a great boat. Just 
again, a 2008 looking like this, I would have said it's impossible unless I see it for myself. This boat looks brand new. I, I don't mean just um, looking really good. I mean this boat looks brand new. You've got to come and see for yourself. Hey, <laughs> didn't I tell you what an experience that was? Oh boy, well, this, it was so much fun out there today on this boat. You're, well, you know what? I can tell you about it until the cows come home, but you're, you've got to come down and experience it for yourself. Give us a call. Oh man, you'll be so glad you did. <laughs>